Hey Lemons. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about something really awful in Animal Jam, which I usually try not to discuss these things. I will talk about AJHQ and their wrongdoings a lot, but this, this topic is something I try to stay clear from, for the most parts. I've made one video on the pedos in Animal Jam before. One video. And that video was seen by many people. I am grateful that I was able to inform and warn everyone playing Animal Jam, tell them about the nasty players on the game and what they do, to stay the heck away from them, and just stay safe. That was my goal. I honestly made the video because it seemed like it was needed for our community to warn as many jammers as possible. Not many jammers will just make videos about the pedos, and that's understandable. I myself don't like the subject, but recently something happened that I felt needed to be known. No one has made a video about it, and that bothered me. So I guess I'll try to step up as the Animal Jam YouTuber I am. In this video, we are going to talk about a jammer in the game that's very known for being gross to other jammers. Behavior that should not be allowed in a children's game, or in other games for that matter. Hyen1, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I don't think it even matters. This person is confirmed to be an adult. His age isn't confirmed, although he stated that he is an adult, which means he is at least 18 or older. I presume he's in his 20s to 30s. This person plays Animal Jam Classic and Mobile. He has said disgusting things to children on Animal Jam, and there is a lot of proof for many, many of the gross things he has said to these jammers. Grooming innocent children that don't know any better. They don't know how wrong the things he tells them are. They don't understand. They're just too young. He is an adult. He should know better. But yet, he doesn't? That is just awful. This person draws artwork that is unsafe for children to see. Honestly, it doesn't matter what age you even are. Seeing this not safe for work masterpieces in Animal Jam is disgusting because you know it is a kid's game. You know that it shouldn't be there, but it is there, and that is what is so wrong about it. It's nasty. AJHQ hasn't done anything about it either. They approve the masterpieces for the exact reason to not let unsafe artwork into the game, but for some weird reason, they allowed all these masterpieces to be accepted into Animal Jam. These drawings are mostly furries and are not typically wearing any or much clothing. Honestly, it's not bad to draw furry characters without clothing. You see it a lot and usually it can be child friendly. So that's not the issue. That isn't what I'm trying to say. The issue is how they draw these furries without or very little clothing. They purposely give the male characters bulges down in the area. They slap fur over it since it's a furry, but it's still gross and very noticeable. They make their characters super huge and giant sized, usually destroying things around them, or in some gross cases trying to eat other characters, which personally, I don't even want to talk about that, since that's just a strange fetish. Definitely not meant to be incorporated in Animal Jam, that's for sure. The fact, the fact AJHQ allows these nasty drawings, these unsafe masterpieces into their own game that is for children. That is what baffles me the most. I will never understand why they would do something like that. They can remove them. They've removed other items before. They can ban the player. They've been plenty other Animal Jam players before. So why? Why did they let this jammer stay in Animal Jam for so long? Why allow Hyene 1 continue to do nasty things to children and make gross, unsafe artwork into the game's masterpieces? I really don't know. Nobody knows. Everyone is upset and angry at AJHQ, but we don't actually have an answer to why they allow them. But the thing is, they banned him. Yes, recently, he was banned. You cannot find his username anymore when you go to search it. This... this was good. This was really good. Finally, he was gone. I mean, Animal Jam HQ finally did something, right? Well, not quite. But that's what everyone thought, at least. I also assumed that AJHQ took the initiative and banned him. But that was farther from the truth. The thing is, he isn't gone. Hyene 1 is just hiding on a different account on Animal Jam. Whether he was banned or whether he deleted his old account, I can't confirm. But his new username is called Agrix. 
They haven't claimed to be the same person as Hyene One, although many jammers can see it's extremely obvious that Agrix is the same person. They both have an art style that's very similar, if not the same. They draw things in the same manner, that being furries in a very detailed and mature way. They have toned down how sexual the characters and drawings are, from what I assume it's probably to hide and to not get caught, but you can still see the similarities of the two art styles from both jammers. I've only gathered things from Animal Jam Mobile, since I don't play Classic anymore. Not that I ever really played Classic, but I used to go on time to time. They even make master blocks making the characters super gigantic, and even one of their characters is attacking planes on the Eiffel Tower. Let me just say, the art on Agrix's account isn't actually all that bad. They aren't as sexualized as they were on the other account, High in One. But these drawings are similar to the kinds of things they would create on their other account. And the whole point of this new account is them trying to hide. And I am trying to show you all of the similarities of the two accounts to confirm that these two are the same. As I've said, they also like to make gigantic furries. They like to make them destroying or attacking regular sized things such as how the character in the Eiffel Tower is similar to their characters attacking cities and their other artworks. This one masterpiece of Agrix is very similar to one of Hyene One's. It's whatever their mascot character on Animal Jam is, flying on a red plane. The planes have slight differences, although they still end up looking very similar to one another. Even the way they detail their drawings and add shines and shading, it just looks so alike. Here's a drawing they made of a furry, and I really hope that's not a little kid's animal character in the game. But you can tell it's similar to what they used to draw, except that they toned down how they draw the bodies, if you know what I mean. They made it less noticeable. You can tell that they've also improved on their art style on the Agrix account. As many artists do improve over time, it's not anything out of the ordinary, which is another reason the art style looks slightly different from the older drawings they have made. Also, this drawing looks fairly normal, but after looking at it for a while, I just felt like he was wrong. Let me know if that's just me thinking over the top, or if you guys can understand what I'm trying to get at here, because it kind of makes me uncomfortable to look at now. They made a collab drawing with a bunch of other artists in Animal Jam, some who might be children not knowing who this Agrix person really is. Chocolate Froggy was one of the artists a part of the collab drawing, which, if some of you know, Chocolate Froggy was one of Hyene's good friends. She would support him, even when she knew he was grooming children on Animal Jam. Which, she is also bad for supporting someone like that. That's awful. I think she was also a gem ambassador for the game, which makes it even worse. Unfortunately, Chocolate Froggy was banned recently too. But in this older photo of the collab, you can see her username on the masterpiece. And I assume that's her art style. I don't actually really know what her art looks like. I found out that she had a pack called A Chocolate Frog, and Agrix was one of the members included in that pack. So, they are both friends. That's definitely not suspicious at all, like, they did a great job covering that all up. Guys, it's so obvious. I am 100% certain of this being the same person. Even if he isn't creating as nasty of artworks like before, this is the same person. He can still groom innocent children just like before. The sad thing is, even if Animal Jam bans him, he'll just come back on another account. I assume he has a bunch of spare accounts at this point. I would say AJHQ should just IP ban him, but from what I've heard, it's a bit more complicated than it sounds. If you IP ban someone, it can somehow ban other nearby areas or something weird like that. I don't know enough knowledge about IP banning to talk or be certain about anything. If any of you know much about IP banning, please inform me in the comment section. It would be much appreciated by me and others. Either way, Hyene One is now hiding on another account called Agrix. I am most certain of this, and I hope you all take this information and stay away from him. Do not talk to him. Report him. Block him. Get the news out to as many jammers as you can. Do whatever you can to stay safe on Animal Jam, because people like him should not be allowed on there. But yet, they get away with it. HHQ doesn't do much about it either. But you can. I can. We can. This video was not meant to poke fun or say rude things about someone. It was not meant to be drama. It was the truth. It was information about a disgusting player on Animal Jam. That is what this video was meant to be. Because I want everyone in the Animal Jam community to stay as safe as possible. If I can somehow help, then I will. But that's all I had to say.
Sorry for such a hard topic, everyone. I hope this did help to some measure. Stay safe, everyone.